welcome back to my another lecture of the mathematics third for the CSE branch okay you already know the subject code BCS 301 today I'm going to tackle the unique unique fixed probability vector okay so questions will be like uh, find the unique fixed probability vector a is equal to it is given the vector matrix is given so this is a 0 1 sorry this is the matrix given not vector matrix 0 1 0 1 by 6 1 by 2 1 by 3 0 2 by 3 1 by 3 so given data you have to write down in the examination same like this so then after we have to find unique fixed probability vector so it is given by v is equal to x comma y comma z okay this is your unique uh, probability fixed vector so you have to calculate it means simply you have to find out the x y z value where where x plus y plus z should be equal to 1 once you get the values x y z then you have to check whether x plus y plus z is equal to 1 is satisfied or not then only your answers are correct okay so such that such that it is the given condition which you should follow uh, so v a is equal to v means this uh, unique fixed probability vector multiplied by this matrix a is equal to given right so v into a should be equal to v so i can write down what is the v value x comma y comma z x comma y comma z into what is the a matrix value 0 1 0 1 upon 6 1 upon 2 1 upon 3 0 2 by 3 and 1 upon 3 it is your v into a it should be equal to v v means x y comma z right and i hope you are aware about the matrix multiplication okay so we can uh, multiply it see here this is a uh, row and this is column okay so first row first column first row second column like this first row first column okay so uh, multiply it so x into 0 this is your 0 okay comma y into 1 by 6 that is your y into 1 by 6 means y by 6 okay comma sorry this is you have to put plus in between while matrix multiplication 0 plus y into 1 by 6 y by 6 z into 0 is 0 so plus 0 you can write okay comma now first row second column x into 1 that is x plus y into 1 by 2 y by 2 plus z into 2 by 3 2 z upon 3 comma then uh, first row third column so x into 0 is 0 plus y into 1 by 3 is y upon 3 plus z into 1 by 3 is z upon 3 so this is your multiplication of these two matrix should be equal to x y comma z okay hope you are following so this is your uh, 0 plus y by 6 is simply y by 6 okay no need to write zeros so x plus y by 2 i can write x plus y by 2 plus 2z upon 3 comma 0 plus y by 3 so you will get y by 3 plus z upon 3 which is equal to so this is your matrix which is equal to x y z now these two matrices are equal so you can compare the left hand side with the right hand side okay so let me compare it so what is your y by 6 value it is nothing but x y by 6 is equal to x comma this term is equal to y so i can write x plus y by 2 plus 2 z upon 3 is equal to y and third term that is y upon 3 plus z upon 3 is equal to z over here okay so on comparing this first term is equal to this first term second term is equal to second term like that you have to compare okay now let me proceed so see here this is your y is equal to i just cross multiply this 6 with this x okay so y is equal to 6x call it equation suppose first equation okay then x plus y by 2 plus 2z by 3 is equal to y if i take lcm over here i know i hope you are calculating the lcms with ease over there just multiply uh, this uh, denominator by 6 why just because here is 3 so 3 cannot be the lcm so i can multiply with this here into 2 this 2 into 3 this will be 6 simply 6 will be your uh, lcm okay so you just write down 6 in denominator uh, and in the upper part you should also multiply 6 so that the equation will not affect so 6 and 6 get cancelled you will again get x like that you have to calculate the lcm okay so it is the pu concept you uh, i know you should be aware of it okay i believe that you are aware of it so uh, 6x it will become 6x plus this is 2 into 3 so i should multiply also here 3 so this 3 and 3 get cancelled and become y again so 3 into y it will become 3y and plus 
this is 3 into 2 I should multiply also 2 here so this is your 4 Z hope you are getting okay so this is your equation and is equal to this y comma now this lcm is 3 already so 3 y plus z you can write down is equal to z so this is your equation okay hope you are getting so now just simplify this so 6x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to this 6 into y get multiplied so it becomes 6y okay so let me call it the second equation okay this is your y plus z will be equal to z into 3 means 3z this will be your uh, so uh, third equation okay so these are the equations formed now i can write down this equation suppose let me call it the star equation okay whatever you name it it is up to you this is your star equation i calculate z value here z is equal to also i can write also z is equal to when i transfer this x and y on the right hand side it will become 1 minus x minus y okay so 1 minus x minus y okay so i hope you are getting so y value is 6x put this uh, y is equal to 6x in this equation i may call it the fourth equation okay so z is equal to 1 minus x minus what is the y value here 6x okay i am putting it here 6x so z is equal to 1 minus 6x minus x means 1 minus 7x let me call this equation as fifth equation fine so now uh, put this z value and this y value in this second equation okay i can simply write put equation first and equation fifth in equation second over there okay so see here this is your 6x okay plus 3 into y y value you have to put 6x that is 6x okay plus 4 into what is the z value z value you have to put this one 1 minus 7x 1 minus 7x is equal to 6 times y sorry y value is 6x you are putting okay so see here 6x plus 3 into 6 that is 18x plus 4 into 1 is 4 minus 4 7s are 28x okay is equal to 36x then 6x plus 18x uh, this is your minus 28x this is your minus 36x when i transfer this to left hand side is equal to this 4 i just shift on the right hand side it will become minus 4 when you just sum it this is your uh, 18 plus 6 24 minus 28 it will become 4 minus 4 minus 36 is minus 40 x is equal to minus 4 x is equal to minus 40 upon minus minus 4 upon minus 40 x is equal to 1 upon 10 you will get okay 4 ones 4 tens so this is your x value now put x is equal to 1 by 10 in equation first so see here equation first was y is equal to 6x i may just put this here y is equal to 6 times x x means 1 upon 10 so you will get y is equal to 6 upon 10 is nothing but 3 upon 5 uh, 2 times 2 3s and 2 5s okay so y is equal to 3 by 5 now put this y is equal to 3 by 5 and this x is equal to sorry x is equal to 1 by 10 in equation this one sorry y is equal to 3 by 5 not no need here only x is equal to 1 by 10 in equation fifth okay hope you are following so i will just put it here see what is the equation fifth z is equal to 1 minus 7 x so i am putting z is equal to 1 minus 7 into x value is 1 by 10 so z is equal to 1 minus 7 upon 10 is 7 by 10 so i am getting z is equal to 10 minus 7 is 3 upon 10 i am getting z value okay so finally we calculate x y z value so x value is 10 y value is 3 by 5 z value is 3 by 10 fine so now v is equal to what was the unique fixed probability that is v into x comma y comma z we calculated x y z value okay so i can write v is equal to x was 1 upon 10 okay let me check it first so x is equal to 1 upon 10 and y is equal to 3 by 5 and z is equal to 3 by 10 so this is your unique is your unique fixed probability probability vector okay so now let me check the condition that is x plus y plus z should be equal to 1 <clears throat> so what is the x value 1 upon 10 plus uh, 3 by 5 y value plus 3 by 10 is z value okay it should be equal to 1 so let me calculate it so let me take lcm first 5 into 2 
this 3 into 2 this will become 1 by 10 plus 6 upon 10 plus 3 by 10 so LCM is 10 and 6 plus 1 is uh, 7 plus 1 is 7 plus 3 is 10 so 10 upon 10 is 1 so this condition is satisfied so your answers are definitely correct over here so this is the problem on unique fixed probability vector i hope this is clearly understood to you people so make sure you will share it with your all friends who actually need it so thanks for watching my video